Hello and welcome to the tutorial on learning numbers. In this tutorial we're going to go through numbers before and after numbers up to 10. Now, the best way to illustrate this is to draw a number line. We're going to draw it across here. Now a number line is simply a line with numbers. It can begin at any number and end at any number. Our number line begins at 0. We're going to carry on here. 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So this is our number line. And it begins at 0 and ends at 10. And we will come across this many times as we go through addition and subtraction questions. So now let's suppose we've got our question which states four. We've got the number four and we want to work out which number comes after four and in a different color we're going to work out which number comes before 4. So first things first, we have to find number 4 on our number line. And it is over here. Let's put a little circle or a little bead over here or a ball. There is number 4. Now to work out the number after 4, we simply take one jump forwards one jump to the right. When we are, let me just change colors to illustrate this, this way to the right is always after. To the left is always before. Because the number line we're, we're going to draw, we've drawn and we're going to draw going forwards, always start with a small number on the left. So the number before on the left, the number after on the right. So coming back to our question, we've got number 4. We've gone one number after 4, and it has come to number 5. So the number after 4 is 5. Now we know this, we can count from 0 all the way to 10. And as we do that, we've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. The 1 after 4 is 5. So that's how we work it out. Now how about the number before? The number before we start at 4 and we take one jump back. And it is at number 3. So the number after 4 is 5. The number before 4 is 3. Let's have a look at one more example. This time, let's suppose we've got the number 7. 7. And what we have to work out is, what number comes after 7? And what number comes before 7? So first things first, let's find 7 on our number line. Can you find it? It is over here. So we've got 7 on our number line. Now the number after, what we do is we take one jump forwards. There we go. It is at number 8. So the number after 7 is 8. How about the number before? Well, we're at 7. We want to take one jump back. It is now at number 6. So the number before 7 is 6. Now you can do this with the number line as we've said. You can also do this simply by just writing all the numbers down. Let's do that over here. Start off at 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm just going to scroll down a little here. And we've got 9 and 10. 
Now, using the same examples, you can work this out in your head. You can count 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. The 1 after 4 is 5. The one, excuse me, the one before 4 is 3. So you can actually do this in your head as well, which will come with practice. The most important thing is learn how to work this out using the number line and by counting forwards and backwards. Once you've done that, you'll be able to do these in your head.